So, uh, Dr. Alana will talk to us about a quick presentation about the radiology of Crohn's disease, the radiological features. It is uh, inflammatory disease. We have uh, two inflammatory diseases in bowel, ulcerative and Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a chronic disease of the of the bowel and mostly it starts from the mouth to the anus but mostly in a small intestine about 80 percent and in small intestine mostly in a terminal areas and it's characterized by this uh, skip lesion and it is relapsed and rem remitting diseases mm. and but it can also occur in a bar in a colon and uh, sometimes in a colon a small bowel again both of them and sometimes in a colon alone clinical feature as uh, I know, it is uh, a yeah, chronic disease. It's a relapsing and remitting disease. Yeah, I mean, it's clinical feature. Uh, it's go and then become off and on. Off and on. Yes. And peak, uh, in, peak involvement is occurred between the 15 to 25. And it's young, but have also second peak, second uh, peak incidence is about uh, uh, 60 to 70 decay of the life. And clinical feature, it is abdominal pain, diarrhea, fever, weight loss, uh, fissure, pre-anal fissure, and anemia. Uh, the Crohn's disease, the imaging feature, as uh, we are a doctor, it, we must know the pathology of disease. It is um, pathologically, we have acute and chronic, chronic phase. In acute phase, there's a neutrophilic infiltration and lymphoid hyperplasia. Uh, in acute phase, there's a shallow ulcer, uh, and uh, this ulcer become deep, more deeper, but, and then become sinus, become fistula, and uh, after that, yeah, I mean, become fibrosis. Fibrosis is developed. Uh, this fibrosis is developed by extracellular matrix deposition. This fibrosis then becomes stricture. Uh, then uh, after that, in a long-standing disease, yeah, it's not acute long. After uh, long-standing, it becomes mucosal, mucosal atrophy and uh, sub cerebral party deposition. Uh, and in general, we have acute and chronic, not this one. We have acute uh, phase and chronic phase, uh, then more divided into the acute uh, inflammatory phase, then penetrating uh, disease, fibrosynodic and reparative, regenerative disease. Uh, and then we can, what image modality we can use? We can use ultrasound at the first. Uh, at the, on the ultrasound, we have mucosal edema. Here we have mucosal edema. And uh, this is normal colon, but this is chronic. There's mucosa is edematous. What we can see in um, in our ultrasound, neural thickening, stratification, hyperemia. Uh, we can see. Sorry, the doctor. I want to see. Yeah. We can see fluid in the bowel. We can see leaf node uh, hyper. I mean, leaf node enlargement and uh, complication of the chronic disease like uh, abscess. This is also ultrasound. We can uh, see mucosal edema, and this uh, this is line is ulcer. There's irregularity of the mucosa. There's a stricture. Uh, after ultrasound, we can use the fluoroscopy, barium study. It's a general X-ray. Uh, we in acute phase. We as we said in acute phase, we have shallow ulcer. This shallow ulcer is appear like. Uh, Nodule. This is a double contrasted variant study of the transverse and the descending colon. And uh, what cobblestone appears? As we said, uh, it is uh, it's a longitudinal as a confirmation fissure, yani crossing each other. This the, this ulcerous appear as a cobblestone appearance. In a, after uh, acute phase, we have penetrating diseases. In a penetrating, we said we have ulcer. We have the deep ulcer, then become sinus and fistula. This is barium follow through. Uh, there is distortion of the small bowel. There is a uh, wall uh, thickening separated yes. from each other. The bowel. There is sinus. There is circulation dilation. This is how ulcer appear. On a barium, so, yeah, and it's spike is projection. This is a rose uh, thorn ulcer, uh, like the spike coming out from the rose. Uh, it is a 
typical sign of the Crohn's disease, and it is came out is occur mostly in a terminal area. And this is uh, this is fibrotic stage. There is a steno, uh, there is a stricture. There is circulation and dilation. This is uh, barium study. A string sign. Is is a string appearance of the contrast filled bowel look caused by the severe narrowing, the severe narrowing of the small intestine. Uh, after uh, fluoroscopy, we can use CT and MRI. Both of them are very good, but CT contrast is uh, better than the conventional CT. And now we can use also MRI. Both of them are better than the barrier follow through. Mm -hmm. On a CT, on a acute phase, as we said, we have neural uh, thickening, we have ulceration, we have stricture and mesentricture. In a mesentry, we can look for the, we can find the leaf node and uh, engorgement of the blood vessel. Uh, this is double contrast CT of the abdomen on, and pelvis in a chronic disease. We can see this is neural thickening. And this is leaf node, leaf node enlargement. This is comb sign. Uh, what's comb sign is an engorgement of the blood vessel. It's an increased vascularity of the mesentery is seen in acute inflammatory. Uh, and this uh, blood vessel has, has an appearance of the teeth of the hair. This is comb sign. And uh, this is cobblest uh, appearance on a CT. This is contrast the CT, axial section. We can see this is also this white line, it's also. The old slot in mucosa, the white. Yes. The still present in mucosa are the black ones, okay? Thank you. And MRI, it is, uh, we can use MRI, but it's harder than the CT. Uh, we use the T2 uh, fatty saturated squares. And uh, this is MRI show hypertrophy. This one is hypertrophied mucosa, and this is uh, this is T two fatty saturation image. Uh, this is dilated. There is a stricture here, but this one, this uh, arrow, this is uh, normal. This normal bowel look. Here's uh, the there's. This one is a thick with mucosa. This one is dilated. This is not all, this is dilated. Huh? Yes. On uh, penetrating phase, uh, there is a sinus. And uh, as we said on a penetrating phase, uh, we can also develop the abscess. We can see on a CT. Uh, this is contrasted the CT of the abdomen and pelvis, showing sinus between the ideal loops. This is ideal loops open. To each other. Yes. Uh, this is fibrostenotic uh, phase. On a fibrostenotic uh, phase, as we said, we use the, we, it's developed stricture uh, and fibrosis, then dilation. Uh, as we said, we see, we use the uh, T2 hypo intense uh, on a MRI. MRI. This uh, segment, uh, it's the any fibrotic uh, look uh, area is become hypo intense on T2. Uh, without diffusion, it's yes, without diffusion, yes, it's just fibrosis. Yes, fibrotic structure demonstrated mm. fixed luminal narrowing with the upstream dilation, circulation uh, are out watching narrowing with the upstream dilation, circulation are uh, can be secondary to the fibrosis. This is MRI, there's ileal, this is one is ileal look, this is uh, fibrosis, and this is circulation, dilation, dilated valve. Uh, Reparative phase and yeah, regenerative phase, there is mucosal atrophy and uh, sub serosa and some mucosal fatty deposition. And this is uh, CT. Yes, this black one is fat. This black one. The CT contrasts the CT of the abdomen and pelvis. This one is fat, and fatty deposition. And we have a sign. Next slide. The special sign, this is creeping sign. Free, creeping fat. All the, or uh, also call it uh, fibro fatty proliferation. Fat wrapping uh, are different names for the hypertrophied or the subserosal fat. 
this common finding long standing Crohn's disease. This uh, image shows creeping fast around descending colon. This part separates the bowel loop from the other bowel lupus. 